Welcome back. All right, so in this section, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating paths and roads. All right, they're very similar, but what I wanted to do is just kind of walk through how we would go about managing something like that inside of TOPS and PDG. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and create another HDA that creates a very basic type of path and road. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to import that into our top network inside of Unity and use it to deform the terrain and to texture the terrain and to clear out the foliage, all that cool stuff. So let's quickly talk about the things that we are going to cover in this particular section. So first and foremost, I want to cover some of the new features of the asset link. So we have auto load and H engine data now. So I really want to cover how we actually use that stuff. And it really does help us speed up our workflow when we're using tops inside of Unity or the H engine. And then we're going to create a basic path tool for level designers. And I, I really want to walk through, you know, some of the core concepts of how to create a really useful path tool that just allows you to, you know, basically create a generic tool that allows you to create, you know, a path or a road or whatever, you know, needs to be defined as a path for your game. And then what we're going to do is we're going to deform the train using that path. And what I really want to do here is I actually want to show off how we can start to utilize what they call spatial partitioning. Okay, so we're going to partition things by bounds this time around. Okay, and this will allow us then to just cook areas of our particular level where things have changed. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're also going to clear the foliage using that same spatial partitioning or partitioning by bounds. All right. And then finally, we're going to go and we're going to texture the terrain just around the path, because usually around a path, you have a different texture set. OK, so with all that, let's dive into Houdini and Unity and get all this stuff set up. 